What's going on YouTube? It's Toxin here with another video for you. And today we're gonna to be throwing this into the MK2 Deluxe cabinet. Now, what is this? Well, I basically got myself a eight way octagonal restrictor gate for the control deck. Uh, here it is. We're gonna be throwing that into the control sticks and see if that makes any improvement because I feel like once you go with the eight way for the fighting games, you can't really go back. So let's pop this bad boy in there and see what we got now here is the gate got this from amazon for a couple of bucks not too expensive there you go as you can see it's the octagonal pretty much like the uh mvc2 and let's get this bad boy installed all right let's go ahead and remove the screws here so we can get our control deck and the thing i like about this control deck is it's very simple it's only got just pretty much the one cable that you have to take out uh so unlike some of the control decks where you have multiple you know buttons there once you pull that out, it is very simple. We are off to the races. Go ahead and remove all the screws that uh, keep the housing plastic together. Go ahead and lift that up. And now we have access to our control deck. Make sure you get these wires out of the way, but don't break them. They are zip tied. And it's good to see that they got some cable management going on. So we're gonna have to pop this open. Now, if you look here, there are little tabs you have to push in. I am gonna put the camera down to pop that off. Okay, and then we should be able to just pop our no restrictor on there in the same fashion. So let me stop the video right here and pop these tabs out. All right, guys, so I'm not even going to lie to you. This thing was a bitch to get off. All right, but the number one thing is you make sure you don't break this and make sure you don't break the tabs. All right, basically what you have to do is you have to push in the tabs, push in the tabs and then lift as you do it to get it over the hump. But like I said, this was a pain in the ass to completely get off. This thing would not want to come up and I really didn't want to break the tabs because you break the tabs, it's over for you, man. That's that's it. Try getting a, try telling one up that uh, you busted the stick and see if they'll freaking give you your money back. But anyway, once you get it off, should be quite simple. Um, should be the same exact way. I just want to pop that in there and it is uh, basically a direct fit let me put the camera down so I can pop that in real quick all right there we go it is in we got it in all right like I said I ordered this from Amazon make sure it's the arcade one up one it says a specific as long as it says arcade one up, then you should be good to go. The notches light, line up, everything is good. Now let's plug this back in and whoop some ass. All right, let's bust the computer's butt cheeks. Let me get some audio for you guys going. All right, let's see how this feels, man. Let's do it. That's a big tower, isn't it? Oh yeah, there you go. I love it, I love it. Oh, you wanna be cheap too? Oh wow, the computer can play games too, huh? Yeah. Don't play with me, boy. All right, YouTube, there you go. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that installation guide. I wasn't really playing to win. I just wanted to get a feel for the controls and I can say I love it. I think it feels much more uh, responsive feels much more responsive so i'm going to stick with the eight-way restrictor plate and if you're thinking about doing it like i said just be very gentle make sure you don't snap those tabs on because it's very stiff keep your old parts never get rid of them and have fun playing games man so that's what it's all about remember spread love not hate uh be nice and be kind to each other uh don't be a bully we're all uh, gamers we love having fun let's play some games and we'll settle our beefs on the machines all right so like and subscribe on the way out and i'll catch you on the next one peace out guys